Then it's 17 7. Bouncing ball fielded at the 25. Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, me. look at this. This is Dan Connolly, the <laughs> right guard. The right guard. Still going to the four yard line. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Dan Conley puts two hands on this football from the first moment saying, all right, as soon as somebody hits me, I nobody, nobody hit me there. No, it didn't happen. 16 seconds to play. Win with time. Throws to the end zone. It is intercepted at the goal line. Brad Lewis intercepted, lost the football. That is a touchdown, or is it? Touchdown, Jacksonville. You play. 59 minutes and 53 seconds to get a play like this. Watch this. John DeQuinn takes a chance. It's intercepted by Lewis. Oh. Doug Flutie will be out there in a very strange formation. Trying for two. Or will it be a drop kick, perhaps? Drop kick for the extra point. It is up and in. Can you believe that? <laughs> And what might be Doug Flutie's last professional football game. Look at Belichick. Last time a drop kick happened in the NFL, we were talking leather helmets, and they were taking trains and buses to games. Here's the snap. One back play action take. Brad Johnson goes over the middle. Too tall. Intercepted at the 40. To the 50-yard line. Intercepted. And the ball. Oh, fumble, fumble. Picked up by the Bucs. The Bucs have it. And the Bucs are going to score. coming up. The kick is on a white block. The Bears block it. Chester picks it up. Chester's running. Chester's going to score. And the Packers win it. He won it by picking up a block field goal. Holy cow. Here is A.J. Trapasso who will do the punting, the regular punter, and we get a trick play here. And it is Trapasso who will carry the ball for a first down inside the 20 and all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. They're going to fake the reverse to Michael Griffin, the safety, the old Statue of Liberty looking play. Everybody assumes that they're going to give him the football, and the punter takes off with the ball. For the tie, Dawson leans into it. Does he have enough? No good. It hit the post. Drilled it right down the middle. A little push into the wind. Watch it hit the bar and then reject it oh. as it bounced back through and onto the other side. After discussion of the field, the field goal hit the top of the crossbar, went over and hit the extension on the back side, which in fact is a good field goal. It bounced back. The field goal was good. High hanging spiraling punt touchback. Barnhart could not pull it up short of the end zone. I think the way the returns have been going in this game, I just assume, wait a minute, what's going on out here? They down the ball, this, this is going to be a touchdown. That is one of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen. They never downed the ball, it was sitting in the end zone. Look at the bounce. Look at this, nobody is even looking at it. Clark lays it up for Freeman, and it's incomplete. Edward, did he, he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to rule it? He caught it. Touchdown. <laughs> he did what? It never hit the ground. It hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Watch oh. it. Right on the uh, Watch left you? arm bring the ball up in the air. And oh, please. Oh, 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 six oh, inches oh, off the grass. What a catch. Unbelievable awareness. Dante Stallworth catches it, stays in bounds. He's going to have to score on this one, and he's got a chance. Getting a couple of blocks, laterals it over to Michael Lewis. Back to McAllister. Still alive. Oh, and they got oh it. God. Jerome Payton with the catch, and he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. For the Saints to stay alive, pending the extra point by John Carney. And he missed. No! He missed the extra point wide right. So that's why they marked it two yards away. They fake it, though. It's a direct snap. And now a throw downfield. 
and inside the 45 yard line, it's caught. Chris Banjo threw it, he was the up man, completed the pass downfield on fourth and two on the fake punt. Beasley in motion, short set, quick throw, slant. Oh, and it's gonna be intercepted oh. off of Owen. Mike Brown's got it. He's got it. 15, he's to the 10, to the yeah. 5, to the end zone. Mike Brown has intercepted the ball, the Bears have won. For Cooper, couch out of the shotgun. Throws, that's batted into the air. Intercepted and the Bears are gonna win it. Mike Brown has done it again. Board bumps again to the sideline. Batted up. Oh, God! Stokely down the sideline. Can they catch him? Stokely, wow! Touchdown, Denver. Unbelievable. A very unorthodox lineup and a fake. Conway looking to throw. Conway throws it up for grabs. Downfield tip and it's deflected. Touchdown and by Jennings. Jennings for the touchdown. Unbelievable. That was a play that didn't work and then worked. But they drew it up like that, didn't they? Gerard steps up. Fires. Mike Sims Walker. Knocked down. Oh, he caught it. Oh, unbelievable. Mike Thomas. Touchdown, Jack. Throwing deep down the near sideline. It's going to be picked off back to the 40, 45, to the 50, to the 45 of the Saints. The ball comes loose. Another Ram has picked it up. This is a lineman. This one's going to be seen in the highlights for a long, long time. 28 looking to lateral. Ball. The ball goes loose, and the Saints have it. It's four games. He's got it at the 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Quick of mind and arm, and Kozai fires. Oh, oh, Leroy Hart comes up with the ball. Touchdown, Cleveland. Here's like an onside punt. Ball was hit straight up into the air, and it turns into a rugby scrum for the football. Back to throw is Mike Pagel. Rolls away from the pressure. He comes back right. Looks. Looks down the field. He's looking for some help. Throws it over the middle. And it's caught. He might be a touchdown. He's got it. Oh. It was caught up in the air. The immaculate reception. The Colts are here. Our time. 16-16. Play action. And Manning's going to heave one. Is, oh, there's a flag. Beckham a one-handed catch. How in the world? Oh, oh my goodness. Insane. How do you make that catch? That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. On its way. It bounces off the crossbar, and it's good. Oh, oh my good. Oh my goodness. That's as incredible as a finish as I think I've ever seen. Fourth and 19, and then you have to kick an NFL record. And, and if you're Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Kim Fink gets it for a long pass downfield. There it goes. A dot into the arms of the intended receiver as the Giants roll. Gathers it in on the Giants 30. Heads up field. But what's this? It looks like the Steelers may still be in the game after all. No, it's the Giants again as Ray Poole comes in to play the old stolen ball trick. Finding himself in trouble, laterals to teammate Tom Landry, who scoots all the way for the final score. Direct snap to Manny. Back to throw. The rush. Gonna be hit. Gonna be sacked. No. No, he got out of it. Now he fires downfield. And it is caught. Caught at the 24-yard line. How in the world did he do that? And this guy doesn't want to lose this game. Tyree had Harrison all over him. The ball was on his helmet, but he got his other hand on it and pulled it in. DJ Jones to his left. He looks right. He throws right. A little high, but Ross comes down. Popped up in the air and it's picked off. This could go for the Bills. And it will. It's Ron Brooks. See you later. And Pazarczyk fumbles the football. It's picked up by Herman Edwards. 15, 10, 5, touchdown Eagles! I don't believe it!
I don't believe it. This is outstanding. He wanted to look at the ups on this guy and then to land on, he nails it. Oh, they're coming. And he's throwing Barnage and caught. Touchdown! And he's got that one between his legs. I don't think it ever touches the ground. It did not. What, a, what an incredible play by the tight end. Between the 10 and the end zone. Needs to watch. There it is to Hill. Whole brigade around him. Hill gets around Scandrick. Look at Hill go! Impossible! Touchdown, Kansas City! How did they do that? Oh my gosh, I've never seen that in my entire time in football. And I promise you, Jason Garrett hasn't either. That is a shocker. Might have been if Pick, a play will catch just as well as his punch. Brandon Fields struggled earlier, got the wet ball away. Alan Rossum gonna let oh, go, oh, oh. and it looks like it's on a tee. Boy. If you tee the ball up, oh. you couldn't put it any better. You can you can go for the pin wow. today, can't you, Mike? You can take out that nine iron, go straight for the pin, drop it down, and plug it. <laughs> now for the most unusual play of the day, in fact, the most unusual play of the year. Myra finally completes a pass, only to have his receiver, Billy Kilmer, fumble the ball. Jim Marshall recovers and sets sail for the goal line. Marshall is making NFL history as he sprints 66 yards in the wrong direction to score a safety for San Francisco. Marshall's misdirected march, however, only makes the score more respectable as the Vikings down San Francisco 27 to 22. Touchdowns for Brown, and they give it to him again. Fumble. He's up, he fumbles the ball, and Luck is there to pick it up and go over the goal line. Luck picked it up and just catapulted himself across the goal line. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Slot to the far side, slot to the near side. Four-man rush this time. Russell's going to lay it up over the top this time. Curse reaching up. Ball slap. He, he caught it. It fell into his arms. It was tipped up in the air. And Curse on his back at the five-yard line. Are you kidding me? On a wild scoring play, Ed Brown's pass bounces off two giant defenders and into the hands of Clement Thomas for a Pittsburgh touchdown. And Landetta stands back in his end zone. Or to go. The kick is blocked. Durson picked it up, I believe. Let's just see if we can see it here. I don't think there was anyone blocked there. You say he just not. That's just a shame. He just hit that ball. I mean, he dropped it, and he didn't kick it where you normally do. Watch this. Watch how low the ball is before it hits his foot. He just dropped that ball and missed it. Mariota. Mariota to the line of scrimmage, maybe across the line. It deflects back to him for a touchdown. And the, just the start of the fourth quarter, 10-3 Los Angeles. And here goes Earl Campbell. He knocked Robertson on his back. Touchdown. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. They're going wild in Houston. Oh. Everybody's happy. I'm going wild well up here. Beautiful running. Cardinals were even closer, and they couldn't get it in as the Chiefs go to the run. It's a reverse by Dave Cre by Steve Bono, who's running away from the entire field. Nobody saw him. This is unbelievable. <laughs> they pick up the blitz. Breeze. Faking, faking, Andre Carter missed him. Breeze throws, it's up for grabs. Was it picked off? Kareem Moore's got the ball. It's an interception. And then it's taken away oh. by Robert Meacham. Meacham goes in for a touchdown. Guess oh. who's going in now? The, their version of the fridge. Here comes yep. Don Terry Poe in. Biggest man to score a touchdown in a long time. There we go. It, it was a run because they, they flipped it to him on a lateral. They got a He's going to take it. Look at this. He's going to throw. Touchdown. Oh, my. Oh, look at the players. Do the Titans have a miracle left in them? If they do, they need it now. Christie kicks it high and short. Going to be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Yeah, Pitches it, it back to Wycheck. 
He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's 40, got something. 50, He's got it. 40, He's got it. 20, 10, He's got it. End zone. Touchdown, Titans. There are no flags on the field. It's a miracle. Tennessee has pulled a miracle. A miracle for the Titans. You see the way the flag's up top here. See which way they're blowing. Oh, the wind's picking up in a big gust right now, too. Big gust. Snap, a tough one. The kick is away. Look at the wind take that one, Bill. Wow. That took it about 25 yards away from the upright. In this direction, the wind is. He's got a strong leg, but a tough wind. And here it goes, and he hooks it. Does it have the distance? No. Comes up short. Came up four yards short. It's being returned by Nathan Batcher. Who spun away and goes to some open space. And he's got some blockers. And Vasher is going. Vasher needs one more block. And he's got it. Nathan Vasher. Touchdown Bears. Do you believe that? I told Dad the wind was going to cause some crazy things that you may have never seen before in a football game. And that clearly did. 108 yards. Shotgun snap to Brady. Stands in, throws down the middle for Edelman. Ball's tipped, and Julian diving for it. Edelman has it. Did he make the catch? He, he it. did! You gotta be At kidding. the 40. And Edelman has his hands underneath it, and his arms are around. And in fact, there was a bubble, but he was able to catch it before it hit the turf. And it's blocked. And it's picked up by Will Hill. Will Hill runs down the sideline. Hill's gonna get a block! Will Hill! This will be a 52-yard field goal attempt by Jim O'Brien. Earl Morrill is holding and back is now Renfro as a safety man for Dallas. The kick is up there and it is fading to the left. And is going to be dead on a on the one. one-inch line. Yeah. Dead on a one-inch line. That's almost like pitching Penny. Seven seconds left. Tannehill will throw it, and this will end it after the shovel, or will it? Miami running around, circling, oh look out, Gronkowski didn't have the angle, touchdown, oh, Canyon Drake! Third down, three receivers right, deal and left, Marshawn Lattimore 12 yards from Adam. Case on a deep drop, steps up in the pocket. He'll fire to the right side, caught by Dix. Stay oh, we got loose! Oh Half the 30, no 10, way. touchdown! Oh, Are you kidding me? It's a Minneapolis no miracle! Way. The defeat was almost overshadowed by Steve O'Neill, who made football history with the longest punt ever recorded. 98 yards. And the Cardinals can hold to the point of attack. Matthews over the top. Fumble the ball. And recovered by the Cardinals, Rashad Johnson. And he pitches into the ball's loose. And the Chargers get a touchdown. John Phillips on a midair recovers it and runs it into the end zone. What were the Cardinals doing? Well, years ago, we talked to Tom Moore then in Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a busted play here, and then oh, no. and Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose, and it's alive. And then going into the end zone is Steve Gregory, who's had an interception, two fumble recoveries, oh, and a touchdown. Gosh. I have never seen this before in my life. 43 yard attempt from the right hash mark. the upright again that's impossible and the Eagles run out onto the field but there's still five seconds so they've got to get back he does it again did this hit the upright and the crossbar bottom line it doesn't go through upright it looks like it bounced off the crossbar as well oh my goodness the Bears' season's going to end on a double doink. Got to get to the 49 for a first. 
They protect him. Smith on Rhodes and it's caught. Oh, off the deflection by Wilson for the touchdown. I mean, he's got an easy interception, and instead it's an easy touchdown. Look at it. He's trying it. to catch it or bat it. What was he doing? Rock continues to run. They have two timeouts remaining. Land out of the shotgun. And nearly intercepted. Or is it intercepted on a second tip ball? And racing down the sideline. And still on his feet is Weatherspoon. He's inside the five, and that is a touchdown. And scores right here. You see it tipped and right. Look, it kicked off of his foot, off of his right foot. And it was deflected twice. That just kicked up on it, just popped it up like a, a center in volleyball, spiking it up for Weatherspoon. Your first game in the heat. It's a fumble. Oh, look at that. Two in the end zone. Intercepted. Touchdown. The Saints win. The Saints win. Spurs going to do a job generally on the opposition. Second and 16. Into the end zone. Overthrowing everybody. Look at that. Oh, look out. Oh, That's Lynn Swan. Stepping over the trunk of a car. I know you talk about able to leap tall buildings, but he leaped over an automobile right here. And he takes a pretty good spill right now coming down off that automobile. Manning, under pressure, throws. Tipped and incomplete. Wait a minute. No uh, touchdown. Harrison. Harrison caught it off the hands of Gilger. With the invisible one draped all over him from the seat of his pants, Lisk found young Steve Zabel in the end zone. There the interception in the end zone by McDougal. And now Seattle with Carson. Oh, my goodness, he landed on his feet. That was insane. Coming after Grady, gets it away. He's picked. He's picked in the end zone. It's Bailey. Bailey takes it off, and he gets away from the one man who had a shot at him. Running it back 100 yards before Watson comes in at the last minute. Ben Watson, this is a great example. Play until the whistle blows. Ben Watson shows the hustle, doesn't give up on the play, and he hit Champ Bailey and looked as it like he was crossing the goal line. And it's a line drive kick. Jackson bobbles it and now has to try and recover. Deshaun Jackson gets a block. Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson still not in and now in for the touchdown. No flags. Unbelievable. Practice all those throws. Uh oh. Yeah. Now we've got on a fourth down and three. You got Griff Whalen ready to take the snap. He'll snap it. Actually, Colt Anderson is behind him. And what in the world? There is absolutely no way possible that they should have snapped that ball and tried to sneak it. There were three, four, five guys around two players. That was insane. I mean, you got a guy on either side of him. What are you doing here? I mean, they don't even try to run a play. I, I, we've seen a lot, a lot of bizarre stuff. I've never seen anything more bizarre than that. It's a combination of things, Drew. They've not won on the early downs, and they've obviously been awful on third down. Excellent spiraling kick by Mesco, and it takes an incredible bounce at the end. And the officials say it was out of the end zone. A blade of grass between the ball and the goal line. I think that's going to be difficult to overturn. Third and 10. Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy, I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. Well, so much for me calling him savvy because he had no idea where he's on the field. Tough situation, but you just can't do that. You have to realize, and you can see him, he didn't even know he was out of bounds. Tough situation for a young quarterback. Unfortunately for the Raiders, it'll be Matt McGloin who's their quarterback. That one bounces, and no one on the Bills goes to get it. Now Gillisley tracks it down in the end zone. You can't let it go. That's a touchdown! Yeah. What are the Bills doing? Fake to Thomas. 
Pressure picked up. Reeves over the middle. Mitchell bottled. Somehow he got it back. I mean, that was tipped ten times, and Meacham will corral it. Long count. Johnson hears the snap. Here comes the jailbreak blitz. The pass call. Bounce in the air, and it is done. Oh, he caught it, it back. Caught back. Joe Drew he misses. It and caught it. Down. He tipped it in the air like a volleyball player, and then he went chasing after it. It made a spectacular catch. I've never seen anything like that in my life. And with Hanson, hurt Sue attempting the extra point, and he bangs it off the upright. They bring the rookie in. Here's Indomitian Sue. Now, the kick is actually pretty good, except you see just smooth motion, but he, he pushes it. Yeah, his plant foot was wrong. His plant foot was a little bit too far ahead of the football. Third down and 10, Dalton in his own end zone, and down he goes into the safety ball game. It is Dolphins win. Throws a pass behind his back to Pete Ratzlaff. Jurgensen of the Eagles back. Almost trapped here. And he throws one behind us. Pete Ratzlaff got that ball. Goes to the 34. Stabler back to throw. Stabler is now being harassed for the first time. Richardson was shaken up in the first half. And that's why he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be punting if that happens. Unbelievable. And Tootin's in a lot of pain. That just was not a wise decision sending him out there. Yeah, he's trying to, to maybe just hang this ball up there. It just goes straight up in the air. Takes the lone receiver to the left. The Packers play it at the goal line. As Wilson scrambles to keep it alive. The game's final play is a Wilson lob to the end zone. Which is fought for by Tate with Jennings simultaneous. Who has it? Who do they give it to? Touchdown! One guy goes up, touchdown. The other said no time. Has to be looked at because it's a score. Call on the field stands. Touchdown. Seahawks win in the most bizarre finish you'll ever. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off! Rachel Harris has it! And he's over! Look! Rachel Harris! Grab the ball on the defensive! Five seconds to go! He grabbed it with five seconds to go and scored! Let's watch one this One million again. to one odds on this one. Ricochet out there off of Jack Tatum and into the man of the year, Franco Harris's hands. Here's the miracle of all miracles. From out of nowhere came Franco Harris, riding a white stallion, heading up Franco's Italian army and galloping off into the sunset.